sue me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Spent thousands of racks on handmade you rags. Sue me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. That's everybody from sports to college class to rap. Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? We got season in review. First person up. Well, you know, Cam Newton. Uh, he's up first because he didn't play. He played two games, but he don't really account for no stats. It's Cam, then it's going to be Teddy, and then we're going to go into the rookie of the year. Um, Kyler Murray, and then we just gonna go by records up and up into Pat Mahomes. So make sure I think straight. So what we got? So can I'm just gonna give a brief breakdown of his numbers and everything. And then we'll have to the season. Uh, and that snippet that I showed at the beginning. Um, if y'all want to go watch the rest of that. He did that about four or five months ago, like right at the beginning of the season, where he was talking about everything that happened and just being real candid about what happened is on his channel. Um, the channel's just called Cam Newton. So you can go over there and check it, check it out. I didn't want to use all his videos. So um y'all can go check that, y'all can go check that out. So that's that's that. So let's get into it. Cam Newton. He's 30 years old. He was drafted in 2011. Um, 50 for 82 for the season. 572 yards. No touchdowns. 56.2 completion percentage. His QBR was 71. Um, and he's my favorite quarterback. And he was the reason I even started this series. Because I feel like nobody was giving Cam his just due. Like, I'm not saying he took something. He took nothing and made it to something. But he revitalized that that franchise, right? So he he revitalized that franchise in a way that people don't even talk about. Like, yes, he messed up in the Super Bowl, but some of the, the things I just showed y'all was from his first game. Like, I remember, <laughs> I'm old enough to remember when they had nothing in Carolina. Nobody was going to Carolina. But then Cam got it and revitalized the city and – Started winning, and at the very least, they was always in the game. And this Cam was so up and down. I'm talking about like he retired, but you know, I'm just giving y'all an overview. He was just so up and down all the time. He just he would just make dumb mistakes like he did in the Super Bowl, where he didn't grab the ball from the bottom. So yeah, another thing that really hurt him this season was his injuries. So he has uh, he has shoulder surgery in the off season. Last uh, summer, well, off season of 2019. So he had surgery in the off season to repair his shoulder. I can't remember what happened, but the shoulder had been ailing him all season, right? So the shoulder had been ailing him all season, and he just he just couldn't couldn't play for real. That's why they got off to like a six and two, five and zero oh start, and then they just fell completely off the map last year because Cam was just trying to play through an injury that he shouldn't. Have. Trying to play into this season and um, completely healed from the shoulder. And he, he said in multiple interviews that he was completely healed for the shoulder and he's ready for the season. And so so we get to the season and uh and Jack see by his numbers, he didn't play particularly well throughout the season anyway. The only the two games he the two games that he did play. So um like I said, his QBR was 71. Uh the two games he played in, he was 0-2. But the, the games that he didn't play in, the team was the team was was three and it was three and eleven. So, you know, the team wasn't very good. And Duke Keegley retired back like Chris McCaffrey was Barry Sanders. And Cal Allen was the next paid man. And so all that entails. So um then on the second game he sprained his left foot. And that was pretty much the end of the season for Cam. And um, he's still under contract, but it's almost a foregone conclusion that Cam is not going to be in Carolina much longer. Because even the owner, even the owner didn't want didn't want him there. I can't necessarily remember what the owner said. I put it on the screen, but it was something along the lines of like, if he's healthy, we want him or something like that. I can't remember. Y'all will see it. So yeah, um, his season overview. I was very upset that he picked this season to not want to not want to play. 
I was very upset about that. He chose the season I started covering all black quarterbacks to not want to play because he was the, like I say y'all all the time, he was the reason I even started this series is so I could cover him because I know there's people like me everywhere. So, so yeah, so they were last in the NFC, last in the NFC South. Uh, same division as Jameis. I was, I was looking forward to that battle because they play they would play two times a, two times a year, and just it's just an unfortunate situation that Cam has put himself in because now he's older, he's been beat up a lot. People act like Cam hasn't been a good quarterback, hasn't been able to take to lead his team. But when you really look down to it, he the best receiver he had was Steve Smith, Kevin Benjamin, and Ted Gain Ted Gain Jr. Them. Steve Smith is a French Hall of Famer. Calvin, Calvin Benjamin was fat and sloppy. And um, Ted Ginn Jr. was a speed guy. So when these are the three best receivers that you had, it's hard to, you know, do anything. But he had a good running game. He had a great defense led by Luke Keekley, um, who retired this year. So that's even more reason. Also, he had Greg Olson, who also retired this year. So the team is pretty much being being tore down. So there's really no reason he should even be there. So some of my options, it is February 12th, February 12th, 2020. So uh, I don't know at this point if he's been traded or not or what happened. So the teams I would like to see Cam go to is L.A., the Chargers. Um, I will say the Colts, but I got Jacoby's there, and I don't want to take no, um, no black quarterback off to put another one on. Um, so we got L.A. Um, what was the other one? Chicago, and um, it was one more. I can't remember. I know it was L.A. It was L.A. Chicago. Oh, and the Titans. All these, all these places. I think with Sue Cam pretty well, you know, L.A. L.A. is L.A. Chicago, you know, it's a hard-nosed city. Cam's a hard-nosed player. Um, what was the other one? Titans, Tennessee. You you see what they did to Lamar. So, and, and most of these teams have stout defenses. So, I want to see him go to one of these teams. And something I was talking about, and this is completely shot in the dark, it would be great if Odell went with him. Just imagine Cam paired with Odell. Now, Cam is not the most accurate of passers, but he's never had a big time wide receiver like Odell. So that's just something I was thinking about today. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much Cam's year in review. Um, so I normally don't ask for it, but like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell so y'all can hear everything that I got to offer. I'm doing I'm doing a little more than just the football stuff. So if you came for the football stuff, that's never going to go anywhere. But just check out everything else because you know you might like the other content because it's just me doing other stuff. <laughs> and and my uncle, my uncle actually doing other stuff. He also also has a series going on that will be posted within a week. So so man, that's a uh, Cam New Cam season in review and. Uh, the next guy we'll have is Teddy Bridgewater. That'll be they'll come to y'all some either next week or um in the next couple of days. I have to get all the information. So uh y'all be safe, stay warm, and I'm out. If I were to go out there and play four quarters of football in the state that I'm in right now with my foot, it'd be a number one out there, but it won't be Cam Newton with everybody's accustomed to seeing it, and I refuse for that to happen because I've been doing that for two games and I said that's not that's not acceptable it's hard for me to watch film it's hard for me to go about my everyday life knowing that I'm being held back by an ailment that all I have to do is just do right by it's hard to come to grips with with, with that decision or having those you know options but at the end of the day I, I just got to get right I got to get right and that's what I'm going